Welcome to another episode of Veteran Dad Tactical. Today I'm going to be presenting you guys with my 1600 round review on the Glock Model 40 MOS long slide chambered in 10 millimeter. The weapon is clear. This has been 1600 rounds. I have my high speed handy dandy bullet tracker have almost every round that I shot through this firearm on the sheet. You can see why I scratched out a couple of places where I finished the box off and recalculated it. But it has been 1600 rounds through this firearm. I would have made this review sooner, but I wanted to test out as many different types of 10 millimeter ammunition that I could come across. But so far, this gun is my everyday truck firearm. I carry this in my vehicle every day legally. Um, I don't have a concealed weapons carry permit yet, but I do plan on getting one. I probably won't conceal carry this, but I like it. It's a, uh, it has a hollow sun 507C version 2 red dot optic on it. Uh, it's about it's 1600 rounds total through the firearm. It's about 1400 with the uh, with the red dot optic and it's fun to shoot it's a stress relief and I really like it so I want to talk to you guys about some of the different types of ammo that I put through this firearm uh, it's mainly been training rounds the most powerful training rounds that I put through this firearm would have to be the mag Tex, the 180 grain um, <clears throat> I recently came across some CCI blazers and they are, they're pretty stout, they're pretty stout rounds. Also, the Fiocchi's 180 grain. These are rated at 1,250 feet per second with 620 feet pounds of muzzle energy. So that's a pretty stout, pretty good training round for 10 millimeter, I would say. Uh, you got some Winchesters. Hornady Critical Duty. These are very accurate. They're very accurate. They're not the most powerful 10 millimeter load, but these are very accurate. Uh, I have some PMC Jack of the Hollow points I haven't shot yet. Also some nozzlers. I want to shoot these. I got some 180 gram nozzlers. These are also rated about 1250 feet per second and 620 feet pounds of muzzle energy. Uh, got some Barnes Vortex. I have some heavy 10 millimeter buffalo bore. These are pretty effective. And the, the ammunition that I found with the most recoil for this firearm would have to be your Hornady Custom XTP. Uh, those things kick, man. Those things kick. So out of, the, out of this firearm, I've had one fail to feed, three light promise strikes, all of which I reloaded the bullets, the rounds, and they all went off. And so, other than that, but those were very few and far between. And this thing handles 10 millimeter pretty well. It's not a whole lot of recoil. Even out of the mag techs or some of the stronger, powerful uh, training rounds, it's not a lot of recoil. Six inch barrel. This is Glock's most advertised uh advertises the most powerful handgun that glock currently produces if you look it up on google right now to bring up the glock 20 which is also a 10 millimeter but it has a shorter barrel this has a longer barrel and of course when you have a longer barrel it equals more velocity and more muzzle energy and so this would be a little bit more powerful than the glock 20 and the glock 29 that are also chambered in 10 millimeter uh, I get a lot of compliments from this gun when I go to the range, you know, from guys wanting to shoot it, uh, to people admiring the shot groups. I'm not going to lie, without the red dot, the gun is still pretty accurate. Uh, I installed the red dot. It didn't make me accurate with this firearm overnight, but once I practice with it, I have gotten pretty good. Um, these top, these top top targets are from 10 yards. I did throw a shot out. I only have the scope zeroed out to about 7 yards because I don't really have the range capacity to zero it out and get a good supported position like I want to. Uh, this was from 5 yards. This was from 7. 
and then we go back down to seven. So it equals pretty pretty good shot groups, man. Um, the main reason I got this gun because I wanted a long barrel handgun because they're of course they're gonna be more accurate than a shorter barrel handgun, but I feel confident with this. I'm really confident with this. I trust it with my life. It is a rather expensive handgun, but I trust this more than I trust some of my cheaper, less expensive firearms that I own. And I like the 10 millimeter, man. The 10 millimeter is a very versatile round. Uh, a lot of different bullet option, ammunition options for it. You have the really, really heavy, dangerous game ammunition that they use for hunting bears and big game all the way down to you know something like the Barnes Vortex 155 grain it's a pretty uh I'm not gonna say a, a watered down load but it's not as powerful as the other loads say like the Hornady Hornady Custom I really like these um but I take this range I take this firearm to the range all the time uh, I don't have anything really negative to say about it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick 1600 round update on this firearm. Uh, one thing I'll have to say is, because I feel like no firearm is perfect, perfect, but the slide release is kind of, I'm a left-handed shooter, but even with my right hand sometimes it can be kind of hard you have to apply a lot of pressure on it to get it to go and if your palms are sweaty or your thumb is sweaty it slips off and it's kind of hard to control that but uh, other than that man it's got the nice got the nice beaver tail back strap on it other than that I really like this firearm it's uh, like I said it's my everyday truck firearm my everyday vehicle firearm uh, I did a lot of videos. If you follow my channel, you know, I've, I've done a good amount of videos with me shooting different types of targets with different types of ammunition, and I can, I'm still continue to make those videos, but I just want to give you guys a quick, uh, 1600 round update and review on this firearm. It's designed to go hunting with. You can use this, uh, firearm to go hunting, you know, whatever you have it, but I personally feel like it is a great self-defense weapon. It might not be the most concealable, but it packs a lot of power. Uh, comparable to a 357 Magnum, depending on which type of ammunition you get, it could be more powerful than your standard 357 Magnum rounds, uh, pushing a heavier grain projectile. So, I like this firearm. Uh, doesn't have any ambidextrous controls on it. It's a full right-handed shooter gun, so of course I adapt. You know, I use my my in, my middle finger to re release the magazine. I don't even really use the slide release, so that's not really a con for me. Uh, majority of the time, when the when it's time to reinsert, when I insert a new magazine, I just pull the slide like that, and I hardly really use the slide release in any of my firearms. So that's just a habit that I've gotten used to. But I do dry fire with this firearm every day. Uh, the red dot optic is a big learning curve over the iron sights, but once you have that skill, it's like you almost improve on your iron sights. I know by having this red dot optic on this particular firearm, I've improved with my iron sights on my shorter barrel handguns. So this is definitely, definitely a big help with that. And um, I just want to express to you guys that I really, really like this firearm. It's a really nice firearm. Six inch barrel, nine inches overall length. I think the weight is about, I'm not really sure off the top of my head. I would have to look it up and post it in the link. But it has a nice weight to it. It's not completely heavy and it's not a really, really, it's a large handgun, but it's not, say, like a six inch revolver, you know, where it's all the way out here and, you know, and everything. And it's, I can, I'm quick with it. It's nice. I like it. It's accurate, very accurate, very powerful, and um, just want to give you guys an update on it. Glock 40, MOS, chambered in 10 millimeter. Apollo Sun 507C, 
version 2 red dot optic majority of the ammos I put through this firearm will have to be I uh, started out shooting your mag techs which I said of course were uh, probably one of the, the most stout training rounds that I've put through it and you have your PMC's they're not really they're not really too bad I have your uh, stellar st stellar and belly I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly um, if not you, you know it uh, you know what I'm trying to say uh, have some gold dots, some SIG V crowns. I shot through it. Uh, SIG V crowns are my current carry ammunition. Uh, shot your Buffalo Boars, your Winchesters. So a pretty good, pretty good list of ammunition that I put through this firearm, and I still have a lot more to go. Still gonna make a pretty good more amount of videos on this firearm, but I just wanted to give you guys my average everyday Joe review on this firearm by no means a professional but I am training myself to get good with firearms and this just happens to be my personal truck firearm that I carry every day so just wanted to give you guys a quick review but thank you guys for tuning in to my channel uh, please continue to keep watching for ammo test videos from this firearm I think the next ammo test I'm gonna do is with these Hornady Hornady Custom XTPs, and then I might do one with, a no with the Nozzlers, but I appreciate, appreciate you guys for tuning in, Veteran Dad Tactical, hope you have a good day.